32 and a half miles north of Chicago Union Station on the former Milwaukee Road's hot Chicago Twin Cities mainline is the unincorporated village of Rondout, Illinois. Many maps don't show this town. You could drive right through and not even realize it's there. But what Rondout may lack in social graces is amply made up for with its rail action. All of the Sioux Line's Chicago to Milwaukee freight trains run through Rondout, including the hotshot Sprint intermodals. Amtrak provides Chicago to Milwaukee corridor service, as well as number seven and eight, the Chicago to Seattle Empire Builder. Fox Lake subdivision, the 17-mile remnant of the Milwaukee's line to Janesville and Madison, branches northwest from the C&M sub right in downtown Rondout. Finally, the Elgin, Joliet, and Eastern's main from Joliet, Illinois to Waukegan, Illinois crosses the Sioux. Prior to 1963, the Mundelein branch of America's fastest interurban, the Chicago, North Shore, and Milwaukee Railroad, crossed the Milwaukee and the EJ&E on a fill that still exists to this day. Quite a bit of history surrounds this little town. Rails were first spiked down here in 1872 when the Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul Railroad was forging south from Milwaukee. The Great Rondout train robbery on the night of June 12, 1924 really made the town notorious. If you allow for inflation, this was the world's largest train robbery. From coast to coast, by train, automobile, bicycle, and on foot, rail fans have journeyed to Rondout to witness the action firsthand. hand. 
History hangs thick over Rondout. In the glory days of railroading, the Milwaukee's crack Hiawathas had to slow to 100 miles per hour for the EJ&E Diamond. Two switch engines were assigned to Rondo. Numerous trains diverged towards Wisconsin's capital. The J, using Baldwin center cabs, was running a half a dozen trains each way a day. And when all else failed, the regularity of the Jews kept Rondout busy. But that was yesterday. Let's enjoy some first-class railroading 1980s style. Too many main lines that once hosted a fleet of passenger trains are now freight only. But Rondout is blessed with four Amtraks each way, each day. Even the Chicago to Milwaukee trains can sport interesting consists. On October 12, 1986, the CNM was host to a special Amtrak movement of private cars. The cars are returning from the American Association of Private Car Owner Convention in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Throughout the day, private varnish was seen on scheduled Amtrak trains as well. 